You will have a lousy career if you're making any of those mistakes. Have you heard a quote by Henry Ford? If you think you can do a thing or think you can do a thing, you're right. Though it was said almost a century ago, it's still applicable to modern humans today. Inevitably, self-confidence and attitude determine whether people will be successful or not. But are they the only factors? Hi, I'm Merdam Lapunar in New York City. I'm going to tell you why most of the people will fail to have a great career. Passionate and bold always keep learning. You stop doing useful things if you don't learn. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon and I will be uploading more of these videos, which we don't want to miss if you're serious about your personal or business growth. Before starting anything, I want to ask you a quick question. What do you think is the number one factor which determines whether a person will have a great career or not? Let us know your thoughts on the comment section below. You might be hanging around in a circle, but have you ever wondered are you on the right path? Or the activities you're performing today will lead you to a success? Are you spending your time wisely or are you just wasting your time? Here are the five most important factors which determine whether you will fail to have a great career or have a very successful life. Do you know Warren Buffett's 80% of the day is spent on reading? Bill Gates read almost 50 books a year. They are super successful in what they are doing, but why are they still hungry for the knowledge? That's because reading habit is not just about reading. It's about embracing new experiences, trying new things, motivating yourself and overcoming fears. It aids so much on your decision making, problem handling and rational thinking that if you're a good reader, your decisions are often right, you can manage yourself and your time well and brings a lot of value on your life or on the field you choose. Those who settle in the current knowledge and situation are already losing the race to someone who is regularly reading and trying different things. That's why you should always have time for learning new things if you want to be successful. When you face a problem in your life, you have two options. Take the responsibility, learn from it, or blame the next person working with you. While proper cooperation and problem handling can be fruitful for an individual and aids in their learning path, people often don't accept their mistakes. They instead find a cause to blame to create an excuse. Some of the examples are, I can't do this because I don't have time, or I'm too broke to take this course, or too weak to try this new exercise. Blame does not do any good and much worse can cause a whole person to have a toxic relationship with people. It can break cooperation, degrade work ethics on workplace and hamper personal relations as well, which is the first sign of failure of an individual. Criticism is an excellent thing to have. No matter how hateful a critic is, it always allows you to grow and learn. And it's necessary for growth. It purifies you, exposes your inconsistencies. And successful people are always trying to get better. Many of the time, when they are unable to find their deficiency, they ask for feedback and acknowledge criticism when they get a chance. But prideful people look at criticism as a personal attack. They don't listen to anyone and always think that they are the right. You shouldn't be one of those. It doesn't promote growth. And you might know, we all need to grow to be successful. How many of you wait for that perfect moment before starting anything? People do it all the time. That's why gyms are crowded in the new year, but empty weeks after. I understand you might be insecure that you might look weird or make a mistake while trying new things, but the fact is nobody cares that much. If you're good at your work, you will be appreciated even if you're not perfect. Most of the people wait too much. After a while, their motivation dies and they never execute their plan. If you want to start a YouTube channel, you shouldn't wait till you become perfect in camera, video editing, or public speaking. Those are the process you learn in the way. It's not a skill which you can learn overnight. It's fine to have some mistakes in the process. With the movement in the positive direction, you'll eventually get over it and improve yourself. You should throw this perfection garbage in the trash. It's a pipe dream. And many talented people fall short of their potential just because they want everything to be perfect before starting anything. You should keep one thing in mind. Long-term consistency will always beat short-term intensity. It doesn't matter how many hours you work per day or how hard you hustle a day if you're not willing to carry it on to the day it executes. The most successful people in the world are not the smartest or have all the knowledge. They're consistent. The only thing that differentiates them with unsuccessful people is that they hold long enough until they become successful. They're always up for the new challenge they face in the journey and move forward. In the journey, if they can, they'll run. 
If they can't, they walk. And in the end, they reach the finish line, even if they have to crawl. Doesn't matter how hard it is, successful people always move forward. If you have any of these qualities, think twice. Fine tuning is essential to develop your skills and sometimes you need to be hard on yourself and understand what you need to change yourself to be successful in life. Comment below and let me know which one do you think is the most essential point. The one which gets more vote will be reviewed and I'll create a separate video on tips and tricks which helps you get out of that problem. Take care of everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe to Analytics of Life and don't forget to press the bell icon. Never miss another update or a new video.